Bobby, uh, how was writing? Who's your, who's, what style did you write? Brienne. Brienne. <laughs> She's lovely. Uh, and what challenges did you face adapting to Brienne's style? What, what did you really see the strengths of hers that you kind of took into this point? Um, Brienne is definitely really, really good at writing vivid images that, you, that are unexpected. And um, I just like to play with like, words and, and making them sound weird. <laughs> So that's not really my strength. And I tried to do that. And as I was writing, I kept being like, okay, am I just writing like over and over again? Because I realized I kept putting similes all over the place rather than like metaphors. And they were really weak in comparison to the things that she writes. So I really had to go back and revise a lot to get all that weakness out and try to make them strong. Good, good. Okay. <laughs> I was innocent on the floor, but my husband's leaving us, and they probably won't be able to see me to pretend. Because Brienne does that sometimes. She'll act it in front of um, Okay, I'll just go. It's not you, it's so cliche you can't even finish the sentence. Lead filled eyes sink, and the words unspoken hang between us like dirty laundry. You sitting, you here, you sitting here on this laser bright day, bringing green skies and tornadic winds to replace the peace of frisbee weather. My throat, throat clenches, throat around icy saltine crackers I never even ate, lodged there, drying out my words and freezing my tears. Nothing, feel nothing, my mind begs for numbness, but all I feel is that tingle sensation of returning blood like I slept on my heart. And now I cough, cough, cough it down, but the black hole of my stomach reverses and spews pieces of my heart cover you. And your eyes, 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 they can't even see them, but I can feel the bleeding void they left oozing to fill the black hole. I'm nothing but empty spaces, and you have all the pieces. And then your enemy arms wrap around me like a straight jacket. But I can't fight your pheromones because they speak my love language. I can't let go because as long as you're pinned here, I won't get sucked away into myself. But your body shifts in a way I've never felt. Your bullshit or fear or doubt or everything sprouts up between us and all those words grow into space. And then your arms retract and my arms disappear. A weak smile falsifies you, erasing my faith. You are an insurmountable mountain as you stand, but my faith isn't strong enough to make me want to move you. But you move anyway. And then you're gone like my voice, blank. My brain explodes like a dying sun. Questions race to catch you. They beg you to reappear, but time steals hope. And then I'm imploding into myself. That black hole is eating what's left of my heart, and every bite fans the fire of emptiness. My phantom limbs are groping air, reaching for anything to hold on to, but slowly they are pulled into the hole. I'm a dismembered Barbie doll buried in the backyard, and I'm decomposing with every unanswered question. I'm falling inside the gaping mouth that churns my stomach. It's not me, it's not me, it's not me. Give it for Brienne. Fingertips. That's what I see of you reaching out and brushing my spine, lengthening 
through me, this void that I am, this space where our together words should be, and your disappearing, is that it? I tell you the ice cream is melted. We're hiding the cream with nothing but cheap sugar sprinkles. And I realize I was in love with your memory, not the person in front of me. And what are you? What are you? Here's my dialogue about you. You're the record playing your priest song, priest song. In the Gothic cathedral of me, no matter how many candles you lit in the hallways after those same priests took down their dirty laundry and swallowed their sacrament saltine wafers, it was still dark, and the candles were fireflies. Yeah, fireflies, not highlight lasers. And all the choir, your choir, was wrapping their lips around lollipops, and tiny coons was wafting smoky out. And your soul fills me, although I can't point to it on any anatomy chart. But you, you're the only thing that can drift in my colored glass, but that's the why you don't date a poet. One of those, one of those so many reasons, they start to say things like superheroes do, like noble, it's never you, it's always me. And now you, you, you doubting plant, a doubting flower, petals like doilies, Lace grandma artful doilies with the same sweet scent your husband now likes late at night a wash in ESPN or night show glow washing up on you too. You're happy now. You're happy now, see. You taste like morning sun. But do you remember the day you married your Barbie? Or you buried your Barbie? The dirty laundry nearby eyeballing us. That was the day I left. I kicked the elephant out of the room, but I kept the camel. And I had to, because your questions were playing blackjack and roulette, even spoons, counting cards like you always liked to cheat. And you didn't need me, somebody, you didn't need me to cheat somebody out of their heart. And my blood, my blood, my blood is hiding you because I'm married to him. And there's no more light laser days. There's only laser tag in the dark for me. And I'm getting shot in the back. But you get to be happy, see?